Hi. Okay, so let me go through the last question of the mock paper. So we stop here during class. So remember this thing, this question? So you see the question, the ladder question uh, is difficult, right? But don't panic. Because why? Just look carefully. Because no? from what I can see here, I have pivot. Pivot, pivot the force. You don't really care about it, essentially. Then the next thing you have is you have the force here, which they have drawn. Okay, fine. Then after that, read the question. The question says, line of action of weight. Which isn't it just weight? Then how do I know where exactly the weight will be? This will be because of the word uniform. Uniform means it will be right in the middle. So this is my weight of ladder. Then next one, it says, determine the perpendicular distance between the line of action of weight and pivot. So that means at this point, what you care about is this. So you have pivot. You have the thing like that. And this is the point where it goes down, weight. So the only thing you care about here is pivot, pivot, and the weight. Then read carefully. Is it just any distance? No, right? Read again. It is perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance is here. Perpendicular distance. So this is referring to this. Therefore, the perpendicular distance is 1.2 divided by 2. 0 0.6 meter. 0 0.6 zero meter. Remember your 2SF, huh? Yay! Okay, next. You need to calculate the volume of the uh, volume value of the force. But now uh, you don't 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 panic, but you look at the marks. The marks give you a clue how difficult or how many steps is required. This is a three mark question. Eh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Three marks is a lot. So you are probably looking at like three workings, three steps. So don't worry, let's take a look part by part, alright? So mm, 0.6 meter, okay. So you see, uh, the two forces we have here, you have the ladder, which is essentially the anti-clockwise force. You have weight. Weight is essentially your clockwise force. Hey, that's the only two forces that we care about. Remember your, by your principle of moment, Recap, can they test you on the definition of principal moment? Yes. So the principal moment says that essentially when an object is in equilibrium, equilibrium means it's not moving up, down, rotating whatsoever, the total anti-clockwise moment is the same as the total clockwise moment they are the same lah, so they can cancel out and all this is about the same pivot so this same pivot thing may not make too much sense to you because so far in the combined science it's just one pivot but it will make more sense to you if you take pure because in pure there are questions with double pivots uh, so for simplicity just remember that it is total clockwise is equal to total anti-clockwise moment about the same pivot which means it's essentially your ACW moment equal CW moment right and you recall moment is force times perpendicular distance then you just have to see oh. so uh, let me color code it further lah. the clockwise moment anti-clockwise is this then purple weight clockwise so in this case, the weight, we have the weight, right? Uh, did they, ah, they, they told me the weight. 110 Newton times 0 0.60. Then the other side, you will have 1.2, which is the distance, perpendicular distance. And you have your force, which I'm supposed to find. So force will equal to 110 times 0 0.60 divided by 1.2. 10 times 0 0.6 divided by 1.2 
55 Newton. So answer is 55 Newton. Then you might be wondering, huh? Like that look very simple. Leh. How come like that is 3 marks? Because when you code, when you code your by principle of moments, your clockwise is and clockwise, this is really equivalent to 1 mark. What is you telling them that I know this definition, I'm applying it. Next one, one mark. And the last one, one mark. So that's how you can get a mark, in case you're wondering. Mm. Next one. So it says that the man climbed onto the ladder, steps onto the ladder and slowly climbed to the top. So you see, originally, no man, uh, no man, yeah, clockwise, equal anti-clockwise, right? Yeah, perfectly fine. But what happened when there's a man? So, meaning, man. So if you have the man, the man will have weight, isn't it? Yeah, so there's an extra force. So, the weight of the man... will be an extra clockwise moment. So the weight of the man will, not will be, la, it's will exert an extra clockwise moment. It means that your clockwise moment is now greater than the anti-clockwise moment mm. so you see uh, they didn't really say anything in the sense they never said that, oh the man climb uh, then the ladder fall down uh. so there is assumption that nobody is saying here the ladder remains so it, it doesn't fall he doesn't boom no so that means uh, so this is what happens the, end, the clockwise more than anti-clockwise. But, uh, but, we add, we add that, that we mean, means that your clockwise equal anti-clockwise. So if your, this segment go up, uh, what do you think your ACW have to do? Such that they become, they still remain the same. Increase also, right? And this AC8, and this ACW is your force. So meaning, the weight of the man will exert an extra clockwise moment in order to maintain the clockwise moment equal anti-clockwise moment or basically equilibrium basically your equilibrium your force, your F will change so your F will increase. Yep. So the answer here is, this is the answer. In order to, but you have three marks. So the question also say, not just the, the man go on there. Eh. He climb. Eh. So has the man climb up then? Has the man climb up, right? So recall, formula is form, uh, moment is force time perpendicular distance. When he's climbing up, does the so equal to weight. So the weight don't change, but the distance is increasing. Your perpendicular distance is increasing. Which means your clockwise moment. Okay, no space, no space. Clockwise moment due to the man, due to the weight of the man. Increase. Which means uh, your clockwise is increasing. So the man go on to the thing, your clockwise in moment increase really. Now he keep on climbing. Uh, his weight causes more problem. His weight causes more for uh, more moment. Which means uh, the clockwise moment increase more. So now your anti clockwise ah, uh, so your clockwise increase more. And remember, the ladder don't move. That means your ACW also must increase more so that they can be the same. Means your force will increase more. 
So the one highlighted in yellow is the answer. Okay, last one. What is the force that prevents? Well, everyone knows what's the force. The force is essentially called friction. Next one, draw the direction of the force. Very simple. Remember, friction, most friction basically is against the motion. So it says this is to prevent it from slipping. So if the ladder, so, so the ladder is like that, right? So if the ladder slip, ah, okay, okay uh, let, let me erase. So the ladder, okay, originally is like this, ladder. Also, if the ladder fall down, ah, the ladder slip, ah, now we come like that. So it is actually moving here. So if it is moving here, friction is opposite, right? So your friction is here. Friction. Ta-da! Yes. How to make it safer? Well, you can you can you can essentially increase the friction, lah. Yeah. So there's many, many, many reasons. So suggest it's just help, uh, kind of give away mark. Yep, that's about it. Any question, please let me know. Thank you.